All right, we've got a couple more widgets on the screen. I'll do them one at a time because the second one there, the uh, Dropbox or Combo Box, is a little more complicated. But the first one we'll do is a switch, um, which when you click it, it switches from on to off and so forth. It's relatively simple. It's a control, GTK switch. You drag it over and do like that. Um, by the way, control Z undoes something if all is going well. So you drag the switch over. Uh, let's see under, um, let me highlight it again. I gave it a name, switch one. Uh, you can set the default, whether it will be default on or default off. Off is the, is the default default. Uh, but anyway, whenever it first comes up on the screen, is it going to say off or on? All right, uh, packing, move it where you want to. I'm kind of clustering these things around but because uh, I'm trying to keep it small, but eventually it'll get big. In the common area, nothing really to change. Everything should be just right. Under signals, the signal you want is state set. That's the signal that you get when someone switches it from off to on or vice versa. So uh, on switch one, state set. All right, let's see what the code looks like. Um, and it's down at the end. Um, now we're just doing the switch at the moment. On this next video, I'll do the uh, combo box. All right, there. It, um, well, we start at the top. Um, what did I do? I added a GTK widget, switch one. All right. Uh, and there's some other widgets there, but they're for the next part. Um, and then down in the builder part, uh, switch one. And then down at the end here, I've added a, um, a callback function. Uh, switch one, set, yeah, state set. On switch one, state set. And I receive a GTK switch pointer. All right. All right. Um, there is a function which returns a Boolean, G Boolean, um, called GTK switch get active. And what it will tell me, just like the ones above it, is whether or not it's active, which is on, or um, inactive, which is off. And correspondingly, depending upon what the value in T is, I'll modify label one or label um, or uh, to say active or to say not active. Again, what you do when you get the signal is up to you, but here I'm proving we got the signal. So I will um, get out of here and I, uh, I'll prove I'll compile it. So it compiles and um, there is the there is the, there it is here and when I click it to off oh by the way there is a tooltip in it I forgot um, you can put tooltips on all of these and the, these are static tooltips but you can also set it up so that the tooltips are dynamic that when you mouse over it calculates what's going to be in the tooltip you can give it a, a tooltip at the time as opposed to this which was just static um, okay switch it to uh, on. And you say it shows active down here. Switch it back to off. It says not active. And you can just sit here and click it back and forth. All right. So that's a switch. They're handy. You could have a whole bunch of options. You turn them on and off. You've seen these in um, GUIs before, I'm sure. So there's the switch.